Act Section 5 is still very, very re relevant. And that section requires anybody who wants to organize a peaceful demonstration or a peaceful meeting to notify police three days in advance. They are supposed also to notify police the date, the time that they are going to hold uh, the, the meeting or the demonstration. Consent of the owner of the venue. All those requirements are still very relevant when you want to hold a peaceful demonstration in the country called Uganda. So, if they are planning their demonstration peacefully, they are supposed to notify us. They are not just supposed to go and announce in the media that we are going to have, or we should have a peaceful demonstration. So, if they are doing that minus following the law, then they will be engaging in an illegal activity. It will be unlawful. It will be unlawful acts. Which unlawful acts we shall not allow? Because in Uganda, there are, are there are laws. There is rule of law in Uganda, and everybody should respect the rule of law that is prevailing in Uganda. We appeal to them to follow the law, and if they follow the law, what they will want will be granted. But if they want to engage in illegal act, it will not be allowed. Is that the reason why you deployed the law? Yes, we deployed all over the country, all over Kampala Metropolitan, after getting intelligence information that a section of the opposition are planning to carry out violent demonstration, riots, in order to cause chaos in the country. And when we got this information, we had to, we had to counter it by deploying, deploying a joint security teams, joint security force that includes the police, the army, LODU, and our intelligence agencies are on the ground to gather for us information in relating to their planned demonstration. So the deployment is there to see that we deter, to see that we deter any planned illegal demonstration that they are planning. We want people to enjoy, we want people to go ahead doing their lawful businesses, go ahead, work, and earn their income lawfully. The, the, they use the term peaceful, but in the actual sense, in the actual sense according to our information, they want to say it is peaceful, but behind the scene, it, they want it to be violent. That is the information, that is the intelligence that we have. For him, he will come out and say it should be peaceful, but in the background, uh, his supporters should be violent. Now, if they write, if they write stating the reason, stating and informing us in advance, uh, management, because police is the inspector general for, of police, is the one who authorizes uh, such demonstrations, uh, peaceful demonstrations. So if they write the inspector general of police, they will sit as a management with the intelligence agencies and review and see what is the situation on the ground. Uh, the court nullified section 8 of the Public Order Management Act. That's why I told you that section 5 is still very relevant. It is only section 8 that was nullified, which talks of stopping. I've told you the only nullified section 8. So, let them write to us according to section 5 of the Public Order Management Act, and we see a way forward. Public Order Public Order Management Act. Akawairo number 10, Kachari Munkola. Uh, akawaira ako kalambi kabulunji anto yoye na ngaeta ga okuteka wo oba bagala kuteka teka a uh, meeting oba lokungana oba uh, demonstration mu mirembe bate kwa kutulaga 
obo kutubulira na kusatu ngalu na kolo tena bakola chi okutuka bate kwa kutegeza police bate kwa no kubulira oba kutubulira abantu bameka abagenda kubera mu meeting eyo oba mu lukunga nolo sawa olunaku nenya nanyi ni kifo na yate kwa okubawa olukusa antukiriza abano kokola chi okujja oba okena maso no kukuba lukungana mu kifo kino ngafite wali chi twali obuzibu tetula bawo obuzibu bwana kasaba ba, nu bana tutukirira ne ba gondera mateka ago ne batu wandikira ne batu lagirira ne batu laga naku abantu bameka nafe a uh, omudumizi wa police kubanga ba wandikira omudumizi wa police ayinzo kutuuza abasajjabe naba uh, naba kola abakesi okulaba anti chichi echiriwo mu ground ye ya sarawo nayo baba nagenda maso nente ekateka anti baji agenda maso nokwe kalakasa ngate ba tutegeze zako finger police tetujabo tetujaba kiriza ogenda maso noloku ngano olwo kubanga awo baji akobera bamenya amateka ngate bagobere dichi amateka kubanga ene nsi Uganda waluo mateka waluo rule of law kati lwachi bagala kujemerera etekeryo amateka ago kati bade tubasaba bagondera amateka bagobera amateka nafe tukolo gwafe ngira amateka kola chi galambuka bulunji oyi ena anageza ko okwenyigira mu bintu bimenya amateka fenga bakuma dimbe tutuja mukiriza kola chi yenyigira mu bintu kola chi bimenya amateka tujja kola deployment tujja kuteka abasirikale bafe okulaba anti tebamenya mateka eh twafunya amawulire anti waluwo abana bufuzo abamu bade bakunganya abantu ngabateka teka anti batandike okwekala kasa mu Uganda ngabade bagenda kusokera abana mu Kampala lero bale bagenda kusokera wana mu Kampala bayi kala kase ngabachi bawakanya ebivudo bipyo mu mibyo kulonda a fete twasazewo fenga ba kumadembe okuteka wo a deployment echawamu ngafe tuline abamaje police LDU ne aba kesi bafe okulaba anti abobo na abageza ko okujja ngabagala kumenya mateka ngabagala kunyigira mu bitu bimenya mateka fe e, tujja golo gwafe iyo kuba kwata no kuba twala mu mbaga za mateka ka deployment njola ba ogez ngatugeza ko okuziza bana bade batesetese a uh, in the supreme court of uganda Presidential election petition number one of 2021. Chagulanyi Sentamu Robert versus Yoweri Museveni Kaguta Tubuhaburwa and two others. Challenging the purported election of General Museveni as the winner of the 2021 presidential election. My petition was premised on three grounds. Namely... that there was no compliance with the relevant provisions of the law. The election was invalid on grounds that it was not conducted in accordance with the principles laid down in our Constitution and the Presidential Election Act of, 20, of 2005 as amended, among other relevant laws, to the extent that, among others, one, the RDCs, as well as police and military officers, systematically blocked me without lawful justification from holding any presidential consultation in any part of Uganda, including Wachiso, Gulu, Lira, Ajumani, Yumbe, Arua, and Zombo. And they did this despite officially notifying the Electoral Commission on the 3rd of December 2019 that I intended to conduct consultation, and despite the same being approved 
on 9th December 2019. Two, in June 2020, the Electoral Commission arbitrarily and illegally decreed campaign guidelines on General Museveni's orders without consulting other stakeholders. These guidelines ultimately hindered a free and fair campaign as they were selectively enforced against my supporters and me to the benefit and advantage of General Museveni. The RDCs, as well as police officers and military officers, among other state actors, systematically blocked me from holding campaign meetings in over 60% of Uganda's districts and blocking me completely from even stepping foot in at least 30% of the districts. On 13th January 2021, Uganda Communications Commission ostensibly acting on the orders of the National Security Council, which General Museveni chairs, ordered the service providers to switch off access to the internet and later mobile money services shortly before, during and after the day of the election, thereby impeding um, free flow of information among the voters as well as frustrating efforts to facilitate my polling agents. The Electoral Commission acted without transparency when it announced and declared provisional results of the 2021 presidential elections without declaration forms from the relevant polling stations and tally sheets from the relevant district returning officers, contrary to the law in a manner that cast doubt in the source and authenticity of the results. The final results later declared by the Electoral Commission were based on, tally, were based on tally sheets and DR forms bearing dates reading 18th January 2021, four days later than when they ought to have been conclusively prepared. At all material times while reading the provisional results, the National Tally Center was swarmed by Museveni's SFC presidential guards who wore Electoral Commission t-shirts and caps to disguise themselves. And they stood next to Mr. Biabakama, the Electoral Commission chairperson, as he read the results. You all saw that. You even saw him stammering. B. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential office. I say that again. General Museveni was not qualified to contest for the presidential seat. Section 4B of the Presidential Election Act of 2005, as amended, disqualifies from the election for president a person holding or acting in an office the functions of which involve a responsibility for in connection with the conduct of an election. At the time of, this, of his nomination, General Museven was holding the offices of head of state, of head of government, of commander-in-chief and chairperson of the National Security Council, which offices are required by law to ensure the equal protection of presidential candidates as well as adequate provision of security at the presidential candidates' campaign meetings. As the nation witnessed, ladies and gentlemen, General Museveni instead used these offices to perpetuate unmitigated and unhindered terror against me, my agents, the campaign team members, my supporters, before, during, and after the presidential campaigns and presidential election. See, General Museveni and all his agents slash supporters on his orders and slash all with knowledge, with his knowledge and approval committed several illegal practices and other electoral offenses. RDCs, the resident district commissioners across Uganda, such as Darius Nandinda of Kabale, and, Nak and Nakamia Harriet of Rubirizi, as well as police, police and military officers led by General Museveni's SFC guards, destroyed my campaign posters and replaced them with those of General Museveni. In one video shot between 18th and 19th of November 2020, armed security operatives can be seen chasing and later shooting down a man 
who was running while carrying my campaign banner. That young man died. Nobody has ever been held accountable for his murder. During the election period, General Museveni and all his agents, with this knowledge and approval, bribed several former supporters of mine or members of my party, including Jasper Avery, Angaria Godwin, and so on, with money, with jobs, and with other gifts, including cars. And this was to influence him, to influence them to vote for him instead of voting for me. He also gave 300,000 to each of Uganda's 70,626 village local council committees for distribution in the villages to bribe voters. This was done countrywide. That was a massive scale bribery. On more than 80% of the days I conducted campaigns, including on the 13th, the 15th, the 18th, the 19th, and the 25th of November 2020, and on the 1st and the 6th and the 10th, and the 11th, the 24th, the 27th, and on the 30th of December 2020, military and police officers violently humiliated, maimed, inflicted grievous bodily harm and excruciating pain onto me, my campaign team, and my supporters. On several dates, particularly the 18th and 19th in November 2020, and on the 27th of November during the campaign period, police and military officers murdered more than 100 people suspected of supporting me. And members of my campaign team, such as Frank Senteza Kalibala, who was deliberately knocked down and killed by a military truck. Shortly before and on voting day, police and military officers in several parts of the country arrested my agents, confiscated their appointment letters, facilitation and logistics, which frustrated my ability to efficiently monitor and supervise the election process. Probably you would have 100% of the DR forms here. This happened, for instance, on the 12th of January 2021, when my agent, Mr. Haman Ainebiona, was brutally arrested, and this was on camera, from San City Hotel in Lira, where he had gone to, dis to distribute appointment letters for my polling day, for, for my polling day agents. And uh, he was detained at Lira Police Station for several days. On 14th January, police in Obongi District beat and arrested my supervisor, Ndaula Arthur, as he protested the electoral malpractices by General Museveni's agents. On 5th of February 2021, the Supreme Court blocked me from amending the petition to add the ground that General Museveni was actually not qualified for election as president. And later, on the 15th of February 2021, they refused to receive around 200 affidavits containing critical evidence upon which we would have best to prove our case against General Museveni and his conspirators in the Supreme Court of Uganda. In both the cited instances, the Supreme Court acted as de facto respondent in the petition rather than the arbiter of justice when it conveniently relied on technicalities to reject our evidence without any prior objection to the evidence by General Museveni and his co-respondents, and without first according me as the petitioner an opportunity to be heard, they did that. That was unfair. In one instance, the court's registrar went as far as swearing an affidavit opposing the evidence that we intended to file. In my opinion, the court demonstrated bias against me in several incidences, sorry, in several incidents, such as when it blocked me from filing the petition on a Saturday, that was 30th January 2021, but it allowed General Museveni to file his defense on a Saturday on 6th February 2021. Through, through its actions on the 5th and on the 15th, 
of February 2021 when Chief Justice Alphonse Owinyi Dolo met and made material requests to General Museveni on the 5th, on the 10th, and on the 16th of February, as if to imply that the petition had already been determined in General Museveni's favor. And later during the court's uh, proceedings, and that was on the uh, 19th of February 2021, Chief Justice Owinyi Dolo scornfully implored me to apply Plan B if I had the conf if I have no confidence in the court of law, among other incidents. According, accordingly, when it became evident that the Supreme Court was not handling the petition with the dictates of justice, equity, and impartiality, and fairness as required by the judicial code and, and, and uh, sorry, as uh, required by the judicial code of conduct and by the law, I was left with no option but to withdraw from the Supreme Court. Mr. Biabakama and his six commissioners had suffocated the voice of the people of Uganda. And here was uh, the Chief Justice Alfonso Winyi Doro also mocking the people of Uganda. All these individuals, ladies and gentlemen, hold their offices in trust of the people of Uganda because by law they're supposed to be serving the people of Uganda. By, but they decided to betray that uh, trust and uh, decided to work for the one that appointed them, that is General Museveni. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ugandans, today I am here to announce once again to all of you here and those watching us from afar that we are on our own. We have brought the case back to the court of the people, and the people of Uganda must now sit and pass judgment in this matter. I will remind you that is 40 years ago, General Museveni took part in an election which he, he lost miserably. He was not the second, neither was he the third. He claimed that the election had been rigged and took our people to the bush to fight and reclaim the victory. Hundreds of our people died, mothers, fathers, uncles, grandfathers, grandmothers, etc. All these people died in pursuit for a better country for the rule of law, for real democracy. But what has Museveni done? He has betrayed the blood of our people and done many times worse than the regime that he castigated for rigging elections. Ugandans must now rise to the occasion and resist Museveni and his regime of blood. As we've been saying, our strategy is non-violent and lawful. I will say it again for clarity. Our strategy is non-violent and it is lawful. We shall not hold guns like Museveni did. Ours is going to be peaceful, but very, very, very assertive. However, our philosophy also stands firm that people power is stronger than the people in power. Article 3 of our country's constitution empowers the citizens of Uganda to do all in their power to restore the constitutional order once it has been usurped, just like it has been done under the Museveni regime. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our next course of action. That is the next phase of our struggle. I want to call upon all of you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, to rise up peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. I call upon you to rise up peacefully and unarmed and demonstrate against a regime that has oppressed us. They've oppressed us, exploited us, and turned into slaves in our own country. This is a time when we must do this for ourselves, for our children, and for our children's children. I want to remind all of you that we have an opportunity to invoke Article 29 of the Constitution of Uganda, which unequivocally guarantees that the citizens of Uganda have the right to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed. I say it again. Article 29 of our Constitution empowers us to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed against any injustice. 
And that's exactly what we are calling you upon to do. I call upon all the citizens who feel oppressed, the women whose sons are missing, the Ugandans who voted and your results were shortchanged, all the oppressed Ugandans come out and peacefully demonstrate against that impunity. We invite you to march to your, respectful, to your respective district offices and seek answers. Those who cannot march, demonstrate in your own way as long as it is lawful and non-violent. I make this call to all Ugandans in the diaspora as well. I appreciate those of you that have already risen up in defense uh, of Uganda's democratic rights. I've seen quite a number of fellow Ugandans in the diaspora demonstrating peacefully. We can pick a leaf, ladies and gentlemen, and do the same right here at home. We are protesting, ladies and gentlemen, for clarity. We are protesting with four demands. Number one, as we indicated that we actually won the 2021 presidential election, Museveni declared himself president. We demand that he returns the victory of the people of Uganda. If he says that he indeed won this election, there must be audits. There must be an audit to this election. It must be overseen by an independent body. Election audits have been used in other countries, including Sierra Leone, uh, Haiti, and Afghanistan. In Sierra Leone, you remember it was in 2007. In Haiti, it was in 2010. And in Afghanistan, it was in 2009 and 2014, among others. Secondly, we demand that General Museveni immediately puts an end to the abduction and kidnap of our people who are taken away every day. We demand that the security agencies return our people. We want those that have been abducted returned. Those that are are being held in communicado, those that are being held in torture chambers and dungeons, we want them freed unconditionally. Those that they claim have uh, cases to answer, let them present them in competent courts. Those that are sick, we want them to take them to hospital. And those that they've murdered, we want their bodies so that we can afford them decent barriers. We want our people, bring back our people. Number three, we demand that General Museveni releases all political prisoners with immediate effect. It is not a crime to support somebody. If it was a crime, there shouldn't have been presidential elections. But all of you remember that my entire campaign team was arrested and they are languishing in prison. Those are prisoners of conscience. We demand their immediate release. And finally, we are demanding that General Museveni immediately stops trying civilians in military courts. By law, civilians are not supposed to be tried in military courts. So we demand that those, our people who are not soldiers, are presented either in a civilian courts all are released with immediate effect. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for God and our country. In a statement, Wako Kwasa Anguza, Kwafe, Ga National Unity Platform, Kunziba Ya Kaluru, Kuvurugwe Yalimu Kaluru, No Kuita, Bana Uganda, Okubako, Chebakolao. Mwenamu Jukira, Tingakumi Nanya, Mwezo goru bede bede, tuwage na mkulonda. Bana Uganda bonna bonna, bali ba mazo kucholika, tibaga la nchuka chuka. Na ye, ngabu imuju kira, timuwe musebe ni ulokutia kwe ya ina, kubaya liya manyi, bana Uganda, tibaga la, ya teka o vurugu, uwe chikecha wa guru, umali, okutuga noko la kampaini, umali, okutabantu bafe, umali, okutusiba, nevi lalabwe bitio. Na ye, Nga hatuna telo kutuko kulonda ya kuata campaign team ya feyo na yuna. Nibajako interneti. Nibaa 
okuteka ekifuba kuba na mawulire abawano ne baba lemesa okuripoting ebi byali biva mu kulonda ne bagana ne bana mawulire abave bwerwe gwanga okujja okuripoting ebi byali bigena maso kubanga yali amanyi tisinga bana reporting ebi byali bigena maso bagena mola bisa eri ensiyo na ebyo ngabiri we bityo maimo 7 yagena maso no kubba obululu mongeri etabanga oko wano mu Uganda kubanga yali amanyi yali akoze mu bwangu obwe kitalo yalagira amaje ne police ne bawamba amakaga nge ne bansibire waka ne teba komao ne office za fe ze kibina cha fe cha national inter platform ne bazibulungula na amaje nalimu busibe okumala enna ku 10 na rumu nayenga mateka galagira nti omuntu enna bwabana okwe mulugunya aina kudukira mu mboga za mateka e koti yagenda kunta ngabula enna ku nyazoka ogena mu koti Na era tuwakola ukwe tolore sawa ukulaba nga tu tekate kwa msangu tu kutuali mkoti. Msangu tuwa kutuala mkoti na inga bu mzemu la babaganda bange mkoti ya laga che kubira. Tuwa jiretira obujulizi nga bu mbu laba wano. Nga bu mbu la video zi izaba sirikali na haba polisi izaba majena haba polisi nga bati kingo bululu. Video zi izali mbu mwenye mbu wa mateko uwe chitalu. Tuwa baletira evidence. Ne afida vipsi. Ezira ga nti akachuko kebio kulonda. Wadekala ga nti abantu mbitundu ebisuka murukumi. Nti jeno musebe ni alia sinze. Biali vichamu. Mubikumi nebikumi. Bia polling station oba walonde wa. Bali bala zenti abantu. Chikumi kuchikumi. Ngabu ebe wandi sabu bazene walonda. Na ye ngabu nzemba nyonyola. Nti mbitundu vinji nyo. Abantu wa singa bali bafa era ne de certificate oba certificate zikaka soko fa kwabwe nga mwezili uh, awantu awamu awe wunyisa ye wafe gomba kuchalo che che bayita lwa weba je tuina abenganda zafi abe wandi sizao na inga tebalonda kubanga abambali banonyeze bwanga baduse abambali bakwatidwa ataba mbali na embuto enkuru ne batasobola kuberawo na ye Mami bia waka ma yena jana agamba. Kia bantu mwenanga bwe bwe wandisa. Balo nda. Tu ina obujuli zi. Omuli zi death certificate. Ezira ganti ya babantu kugezono. Ali registered ngo mulonzi. Na ye ya fa ngeburu mwa kagumu. Akalulukabeo. Nenga mami bia waka makulaga. Na ye ya jana ronda. Nebi dale vifana na bwe bitu. Obujuli zi bunji nga bwe mbulaba wano. Basemo neba nyabo. Ekoti ensukurumu ya bugana. Na yate ngo obujuli zi. Obwe chika obwe chitu. Ekoti ensukulumu ya bukiri zanga. Mumisango jaba antuwa lala. Jebalo upa. Mkumi bili mugumu. Mbili mukaga. Nemu bili kumina mukaga. So ebyo. Bwibiwe ilabu ebi tiyo. Tuwa sala o. Kwa tumazo ukulaba. Ntekoti ensukulumu. Nesaba la mzi owinyi dolo. Ainache kubira. Atenga alia sinkana jeno museveni. Muluatu. Elatu tegezebo antibali wa sinkana. Nemu chama. Tuwa laba ngata genda kuwaba na Uganda mwenkanya. Kwe kujayo umusango ugu. Uluva nyuma alu wama mbibia waka ma. Na haka chiko ke. Akaba ntuo mkaga. Nga wama ze ukuli njirira. Edobo ziyaba na Uganda. Libasi tulanga kumi nanya januari. No uluva nyuma lwekoti nsukuru mjetuwa yutu subira mu mwenkanya. Ukaka sante genda kuwaba na Uganda mwenkanya. Tuwa sa zeo. Tujayo umusango. Erolu na kuluwa alero basebo nebanyabo. Mubutongo le njagala okulopa umusango ugu eri mwena bana Uganda. Eranga njagalo bategeza. Timwe muina obu inza okwela mola kusongeno. Sema teka wa Uganda. Abawa obu inza mkawairo namba abili mwenda. Okwe kalakasa mudembe ngate muina bisi. Nchidam. Constitution ya Uganda sema teka mukawairo namba 2 mwenda ebawa edembe okwe kalakasa mudembe nga mwino okwe mulugunya nolwe nsonge yo basebo ne banyabo eri mwenna ababa de babuza chichi echidako oluvanyuma lo kuita mitenda jo na jo nanga bitubadenga tubategeza ero oluvanyuma lo bategeza nti oluvanyuma lo abyo no kuogerwa no kolebwa Bana Uganda mwe mugendo kola okusala ho okusemba yo. 
Njagalo kutuwa lumikisagu no okubako wola mwena bana Uganda jemuli. Abali wano no kwe tolore nsiyo na okusitu kiramu mudembe ngatemu inabuisi mwekalaka ase mwelage obutali mmativu. Mwekalaka asa mutia, mwekalaka asa mudembe, mwekalaka asa ngamusitu kiramu ngamugenda kuzi wofisi ezi kwa atibu wako kwe tolore guanga liyo na. Nabo abata sobola. Chiri eri jemuli basemo nebanyabo. Ukwe kalakasa. Mungeri yon na jemba musobode. Kuo bongo bunji. Kutuina ba na Uganda. Kastamba nga mchikola mateka. Ate nga mchikola temui wa musai. Tuwa galo kwe kalakasa. Nga tuba anja ebi ntubina. Echisoka. Nga bu tubalaze. Ntio kulonda. Tekwari kwa mazima. Na bu nkanya. Ate muami vya baka manaka chiko keke vyo kulonda. Kala angirida bifu. So tuba anja obu wangu zibwa fe kubanga tuwa wangu la. Tuba laze tiuruba nyumalu okufuna ko zi declaration forms entono. Endala angabazi wambie. Era ze taina netuko isa eze za muambi ya bakama. Ne wankubade zali mu vulugu nebiru mirabi inji. Chira gibwa lunye okusinzi la ku declaration forms. Ze tu ina wano. Ntiwa kaluru wako tuwa kawangu lida kubitundu, ana, kubitundu atano mubi na. Nobu tundu tundu kumina muenda. Singate wali wokuba, uboli yao tuandu wangu lide mchinana, no musobi. So, nolwe nsongeyo, tubakunga, bana Uganda banafe, mwena jemuli, okusitu kama wekala kase modembe, nga muba anja obu wangu zivafe. Nsongeyo kubiri, tuwa galo kwekala kase, roba ita mwena mwekala kase modembe, nga muba anja, abantu wafe, Abazeba wambibwa, ngaba wambibwa muzidroni, ne mumoto kendala. Ngera chino chibade chikorebu wanga, kubiragiro bia muami museveni. Tuwa gala, ama je, polisi nebitongo leviku madembe, bikomieo abantu bafe, obaba lamu, obaba fu. Abo, abalamu, abawa wambibwa, kati abambali miezi, abalala wiki, abalala naku, tuwa gala, bako mezebweo. Abachari abalamu, tuwa gala baba tuwe embagira o. Bebaga mati baba inako, emisango, baba lete mkoti, ezikirizi wa mateka. Abalwade, baba tuwe, beba tulugunyanga abachari abalamu, baba tuwe, tuwe janjavire kubanga bantu bafe. Beba se, nenga tebanda batu diza, tuwa gala batu we mirambo jafe, tusoro bazi kama chitibwa, tuwa gala bantu bafe. Jagalo basa ba, muveyo, mubanja bantu bamwe. Mweba mama. Abachala abawambibu waka abantu babwe, abana beba tuteko bachitabwe neba nyabwe, na abazade abawambibu waka abana babwe, tuwa gala okubasaba mustukiremu kubanga yemwe ansa. Nsonga, eyo kusatu, tuwa gala okubanja, abasibe bona bona abasibu wanga temai na musango, wabula wanga abasibu wa uluwe nsonga, uluwe virozo biyabwe, prisoners of conscience. Aba political prisoners bona tuwagala kubanga simu sango omuntu okuwagira omuntu omu na leka omuntu omulala mwena mujukira ti campaign team ya feyo nayo na ya wambibwa ne baba kwata ne baba tulugunya mu nkambi ya maje kasajagirwa ne baba kola ke bikolobero binji nyo ne bamala ne baba twala mu kote ya maje ne baba siba twagala baba tudize embagirawo itsemba yo twagala okubanja mwa mu seveni Alikirawo ukwata abana Uganda abataliba na maje ne baba tuwala mkoti eza maje. Ama teka ga Uganda gachite kalunye nti abantu abataliba sirikale tebaina kuhoze sebwa mkoti za basirikale. So nenso ngezo tuwa galo bako ola mwenaba sebo nebanyavu wana Uganda wanafe. Abali wano mu Uganda na abali okweto ule nsiyo na mustukiremu, mudembe, kubanga chikirizi buwa mateka, constitution nebawe dembe ilio. Mwekalaka asemo dembe, kubanga wanache malira, baulira dobo zili abantu. Mwevali nyo, mwevali redala, kuluwa katonda, mensi yangu. Awa power! Awa power! Tuliambale ngule, tuliambale ngule, olu talo, ngalu wede, tuliambale ngule, People power. Power, power, our power. 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 Please be. The DR forms, the declaration of results forms that we have over 25,000 of them, and um, 
as our president has told you. Uh, 7,000 are still in police custody and 2,000, you know, we were denied the ability to get them. But uh, we got ours and then were able to make do with uh, those of the EC, even though they had so many challenges. And we did a tabulation, which gave us a total of 54.19% for Honorable Chagulanyi Centre, Robert. And uh, right after here, because we now have soft copies of these declaration of results forms, we are going to upload them on our website. That's www.nupuganda.org. Uh, that's www.nupuganda.org. Uh, there are so many, we can't have them on Facebook or Twitter and so on, but uh, we can be able to upload them on our website. Of course, uh, Mr. Tibu Habura and um, his operatives are very notorious um, for trying to destabilize us. That's why they shut down the internet, social media, destabilized our U-Vote app. We hope that uh, they'll not mess up with our website. Um, we want them to be able to challenge what we are going to put up on our website. So we are hoping they will not tamper with our website as we upload all these DR forms for Ugandans to be able to see how the election did transpire. And uh, this 54.19% we are saying was even as a result of all the ballot staffing and all the other challenges that did happen. This is what we will have as is. The president of Gambia, Twina DR forms, Zino the Tubalaze, is this so come to a village to undo? While you are Cassam Vacacha in the police, which has made day, Nekumi billion dollar, the battle miss of Funa, Netwa Funizafe, the Sobamo, to a village to undo. Neto Soro Cosesa named the Reza Electoral Commission, no uncover Dezino Zibu, Iranga President Waba Gambi, but to Agatia, the Sulavango, which it was a Gulany Saint Amu, Yafuna, Vonero, Atano Mubuna, Nobutundu Tundu Kumina Wenda, Kubuchikumi. So Kakati DR for Muzino. Twas because they must soft copy. It had to gain the Kuziwanika, who website ya fe. Ya www.nupuganda.org. Um, www.nupuganda.org. To gain that take ayo declaration. Maybe Tundu Atano Mubina, Nobu Tundu Tundu Kumina Wenda Kubuchkumi, fifty four point one nine per cent. Atemuami. Tibuhabura Museveni, yena afuna um, asatu mumu nana, nobu tundu tundu, chinana mubidi, mubidi. 38.82%. Zezali ezamuami Tibuhabura. So, tukenda bite kayo kwa website ya fi. Um, tetuja sobo la kubite kaku Facebook, kubati Twitter kubanga, um, bi nyingi nyo. Nga wetu wazi kozeku soft copy. Eda, katusubide, ntimuami Tibuhabura neba ne. Omanyina kuzino bageza ako kuchangkaranya teknolojia. Mwala babo, wabaji ako interneti, uh, Facebook, nebi, dalanga. Teba agala ba na Uganda ba lewe, obubi owe nkuku nala. Bubali ba kuwasa ganya. So katusubilenti website ya fe, teba jaji chankaranya. Kuwanga tuwa agala ba na Uganda ba lewe, chechi hava mkalulu. Neba muamitibu habura na bo, mchua kuchankaranya bintu ya fe. Batulagenti boka akati ya ha, chino fe, chitulaga, chechari wo, gaba na Uganda ba lewe unda, bochi cheba gamba. Ne demands is a fe zino, uh, zetuwa deyo. Tegeze dua, uh, ntiwaliwe songo mkulu jati ndo kwa saga nyaka kano. Uh, so unfortunately we are unable to take questions for today. Uh, so the communication that um, he has made, we are going to make it available to the media for you to be able to quote and, and all of that. Thank you so much everybody for coming. Do have yourselves a good day. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. <coughs>